A drone attack has been launched on Russia's Bryansk region, local telegram channels reported. Kamikaze drones belonging to Ukraine attacked the 1060th Material and Technical Support Base of the Russian Armed Forces. As a result, an explosion and fire occurred. The military unit was also targeted by the drones, according to the report. The governor of the province Alexander Bogomaz said that 14 drones were shot down, adding that there were no casualties. The governor said that the remains of the drone caused fire in a non-residential building. The situation around former Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu has become increasingly tense in recent months. According to Russian news sources, Shoigu and his cronies are getting rid of assets in Russia and moving capital abroad, which may indicate growing concerns among the Russian elite. Shoigu's department from the Kremlin's trusted circle is accompanied by the arrests of his closest allies, which is the first sign of a growing rift among the Russian government. Among the most notable changes is the suspension of construction by the large construction company Samolet, controlled by the Shoigu family and his close associate Ruslan Salikov. Salikov's appointment as a senior from Tuva was blocked, which, according to Russian telegram channels, became an alarm bell for Shoigu. Companies associated with the Shoigu clan are starting to sell off square meters and shares and are also freezing new construction projects, citing a lack of working capital. According to the telegram channel Nezaigar, significant amounts are being transferred to Tajikistan and China through the recently acquired bank under the pretext of purchasing construction equipment and advance payments. At the same time, the Federal Tax Service has stepped up inspections, blocking payments from a number of companies associated with Samolet. Mounting debts to contractors and subcontractors are exacerbating the crisis, also affecting ethnic criminal groups involved in the construction, including conflicts over unpaid debts arising from the Samolet projects. Salikov's sons, who hold Cypriot passports, are allegedly preparing to sell off their business assets in 2025. Salikov himself, according to unofficial information, is temporarily restricted from leaving Moscow. The escalation of conflict within the Russian elite, accompanied by the withdrawal of capital abroad, signals the growing uncertainty of the elites in the political and economic stability of the country. Earlier, media reported that Sergei Shoigu did not share the office of the head of the Security Council with Vladimir Putin's new assistant, Nikolai Patrushev. When Putin transferred Patrushev from Security Council secretary to his assistant on May the 14th, 2024, he asked his boss to leave him a luxurious office, one of the informed interlocutors told Proect. Putin agreed, but did not come up with anything in return for Shoigu, who was supposed to move in there, he specified. 
In a September interview with state television channel Russia 24, Shoigu sits in an office decorated in dark wood. The Security Council emblem is illuminated in the background. The emblem is out of place. It was simply placed there for the filming and the flag is positioned nearby in such a way that it interferes with the person sitting at the desk, Proect Channel reported. The Atash Partisan Movement reports that FPV drone operators in one of the units of the 76th Air Assault Division of the Russian Armed Forces are being sent to assault troops. This information was provided by the movement agent Defense Express, says. The UAV operators signed a contract with the Ministry of Defense of the Russian Federation for specific positions, but the division command decided that assault troops were not needed. Complaints to higher authorities have expectedly failed, the Atesh stated. The Atesh does not give details about the exact unit numbers to keep its agent safe. However, such incidents are reportedly not uncommon within the division and have already occurred in many units. We continue to gather information that will help the Defense Force of Ukraine deliver a crushing blow to the occupiers. The statement reads, The Russian military is reassigning experienced UAV operators from ad hoc drone units to frontline assault squads as per reports from multiple Russian pro-war telegram channels. This move, according to independent media outlet Important Stories in Russia, has sparked criticism from Russian military bloggers, often known as Z-bloggers. Roman Saponkov, a military correspondent, criticized the decision, saying that many highly skilled drone operators backed by extensive volunteer support and private sponsorship are being repurposed for direct combat roles, resulting in increased casualties. This undermines years of effort and contributions by people across the country, he stated, emphasizing that these operators' expertise was vital for intelligence and strike operations. Z-blogger Alexei Zivov linked the shift to a growing number of unofficial and ad hoc units in the Russian army, which has lured personnel available for assaults under the traditional Russian military command structure. He noted that battalions are being shaken up to reinforce assault capabilities as a result. Who's going to join the good old meat grinder assaults? So military authorities started reshuffling staff. Zivov wrote, Vladislav Shurigin, another military commentator, said the proliferation of unofficial military units, which allowed Russian troops to avoid participation in assault operations, has created a stark contrast between the documented structure of the forces and the reality on the ground. There are so many ad hoc units that soon no one will be left to fight. There is an infantry battalion on paper, but on the ground, no one is to send into assault. Whether it's UAV operators, communication teams or logistics crews, Shurigin wrote, citing a source from the headquarters of one of the branches of the Russian armed forces. 